Here's the raw takes from the session. Nothing is lined up. I don't even know what to use for my starting point. Okay, so get first of all get rid of that. Let's try to see if we can get these uh, pianos, because I, I got them all kind of in the same place. Let's see if we can get them kind of lined up with each other. So this one I'm going to try and that first reel, it, it cuts off, it's not starting in the right place. But that loud note is where the second chord starts. So it's that one lining up with that one. Let's mute those for the moment though. So those are mostly, basically mostly in the right place. Um, we'll probably have to stretch them to get them timed right. And what we'll have to do is pick a spot from um, later in the song where should I? The question is, should I stretch the green ones or should I stretch the yellow ones? I'll probably have to stretch all of them a little bit. is distorted and I'm not going to go back and redo it so it's too it's not an important enough thing the outside. that's it it's just distorted so what I'll do I'll be waiting for you on the that up. I'm going to use a filter and this is going to be a low pass filter so that it cuts out the highs. I'm going to automate it. On the outside. First of all turn the, the track down overall. Turn it down like 6 dB initially and then I'm going to try to make it clear. I'm just going to just muffle the, the crap out of it. In the context of everything else, it's going to be... So now, in order to um, get the yellow ones timed right to the uh, get the yellow ones timed to the green ones because they're on a different reel, they're probably at a slightly different speed. What I'm going to do is take the note that I have using it that I'm using my, as my reference. Um, and by the way, these are not. Which one has the cut in it? Oh, the top one. So the top one will leave where it is. What I can do is I can drag the this thing. This is only temporary. This is just to get a spot on the left of all these where they are all perfectly lined up. Zoom back in on that, make sure that, that little end point is dragged right to that line. Okay, now let's find something that we can use as a...
<laughs> so this is about what we're looking for as far as the spot where we want. You know, think about like these kind of electronic sounds. Is those are not random. I actually like hear those in my head. So we want that the beginning of that thing that do, do, do. the very beginning of that that's going to be where we want the downbeat of um, we only want this track okay so it's going to be that note that we want to line up with that so this is going to be squished a little bit That's the beginning of the note. Let's get right in on it. Show it no mercy. Okay. And then um, we want that where that begins to be right there, right? I think it's where that little like block right there is. Yep, that's it. Okay, so. We want to be exactly that. So now if I hold down the option key while adjusting this, it actually squashes it just so. So now if we hear those two tracks together. It does line up with that thing. If we stretch it out, the whole rest of everything else should line up with it too. Okay, and seeing now that our sp speed is increased by 1.003 we can just go to these other yellow ones and go 1.003 1 and they should be now 1.003 now that they're all now that these yellow ones because they're all from the same reel are set to the same speed it should be easy to line them up too Top two. That note right there is supposed to land on the floor. Supposed to land there. So let's try it. Train. Check that train out. You hear that? This is what happens when you leave your windows open all the time. So that one might be in the right vicinity. We can still take these bits in, in sections, little small sections, because most of what's on these tracks is things that happen only for a short time. It's not like stuff running through the whole track. So it'll be easy once you know, I get into the general right place. If I want to tweak something a little bit, I still can. So now there's only really one track left that I haven't got in the ballpark, and that's this one. What's it got on it that I can... Bye.